everyone welcome to ai brahma youtube channel my name is ganesh in this video tutorial we are discussing about practical question for interview and this is exercise 20 i hope you have watched all other old series also if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you and this question is very important question because this question is asked in one of the top company called tesco Without wasting the time, we will directly go to the scenario. And this is not only the interview scenario, this type of the situation you will get in your real time projects also. Because whenever you are dealing with a bank account numbers or any person account number, we have to play with some string manipulation commands. How we can get in between the values. These are all the very popular uh, scenario in the projects. So that's why this question is very important in the interview. So the question is very simple here. We have to extract the data in the highlighted format. Example, in the first example, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This I have to extract it. And in the second example, 0, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. This particular highlighted one, I need to extract it. And they have given the note also. Total length of the output always a seven character. And last two letters are always BC only, right? This is a BC, always it will be BC. And you have to extract a seven character from before BC. Okay, this, uh, this is the note they have given. How we can get this particular output from automation anywhere? This is the task. So directly we will go to the Automation Anywhere Workbench and we will solve this particular interview scenario. So whenever you are appearing in the interview system test or any question interviews, then the first thing you have to maintain a best practice in your bot. If you don't tell your logic also fine, but best practice is the one, it will give you the 90% of the confidence. Okay. And interviewer also will happy if you are using the best practices. So we will use the best practices one by one. Then we will go ahead for the output. The first thing is you have to use a comment. Whenever you are doing your particular project also, you have to use a comment for each and every logics and steps also each and every logic. Okay. So the comment is very simple. This is interview scenario of exercise 20 so i will take a same thing here okay you can take any of your concern like example if you are working uh, in the real time project you can give the project name with a detail also so who is developing and what time you are developing or uh, any important thing that you someone should know from your code that you can mention in the comment next thing is step Whenever you are appearing in the interview, the first thing you have to make sure in the mind, we have to make a bot as a dynamic, not a hard coding, right? To make it that dynamic values, we have to take the input from the users. That is the best practice in interview scenarios. So to get the input from the user, which command we can use it? Please pause the video and comment on the video. Your comment is most welcome. Pause the video and comment your answer in the video. How we can get the data from the user? What are all the types of commands we have in Automation Anywhere? Get the user, user input. Okay. Once you comment on the video, please play again and watch the video. Okay. Now the title is User Input. So in the step, I'm first taking the input from the user. What is the input? What we have mentioned means interior is asked in the question, right? This is the input HDFC 00112312456, right? So this is the input from the user. We have to get it. Then only we will call it as dynamic, right? Otherwise it will be hard coded. So that's why once you are mentioned in the step user input, we have to take a command called prompt. Okay, in the prompt, we have a so many options called prompt for a file, folder, value, and yes or no. In this particular interview scenario, we are taking the value from the users, right? So that's why we have to take 
for values such so just a drag and drop inside your steps and mention here the window caption and prompt message whenever you are mentioning the window caption you can take a little bit detailed one or uh, whatever your uh, bot is doing that one you can take it in the prompt message you can give the suggestion to the user what you have to give the value and here i will give the value as please enter your input that's it very simple question right so please enter your input in your case maybe please enter your first name please enter your last name any suggestion you can give it to the users and one of the next step is we have to save in the variable right with using a best practice that is very important so please click on this create variable icon then by default string variable will be created as of today automation anywhere prompt for value will save as a string if you are giving the number also it will take it as a string so that is the one thing make sure you have to observe carefully because sometimes interviewer will ask a cross question can I take a number subtype using prompt for a value? No, directly it is not possible. Whenever you are taking the value from the user as a prompt for a value, so you will get it as a string data type. After that, you can use a type casting of two dot two number that you can use it. Okay, but directly whenever you are taking the data from the user as a prompt for a value, it will give you the output in string data type itself. Okay, that is one of the thing. Make sure you have to observe carefully. So here, the, what is the best practice? STR, because we have to maintain a best practice. This is a best practice we are following in the industry. Okay, STR meaning is from the subtype of our data type is a string, right? Three letters I'm taking in the small letter, right? STR, after that, input, because this is an input, right? So STR input. Here you can mention again uh, exercise in the input. Why we have to maintain the description? This is also one of the best practice because whenever someone is seeing your code or reviewing your, your code, they have to understand what is exactly this STR input is, right? So in the real time projects also, you must use a description. If it is optional also, that is a best practice to use a description in the your variables, okay? Create and select. Now you have taken the input from the user. That's it, fine. So what is the next step? Next step is to get or extract the data from the particular input, right? That we will call it as business input. So, or business logic. So take the step drag and drop here you can mention yes logic save so what is the business logic we have to use here we have to write a core logic of what we have discussed to get the data from hdfc this particular string the first thing is, if you observe carefully, I need to remove this BC, okay? Remove BC means you can do several way, okay? One of the things you can use a regular expression also, or you can use any of the other techniques also. I felt, okay, what is the best way of removing is, already we know BC is exactly available in each and every string, right? They have already given the note. Then BC character is having the two letters so if i take the total length minus two then i will get a value from here to here right so that is the particular logic we will use it in our bot so first thing is you have to take a length in the string package we have a length right so drag and drop that length inside the business logic here you have to take str input Okay, just take the str input what we have taken from the users and then you can create a variable called num because we are taking the length of the total length of the particular string right so that will be always in the number so best practice to create
create a number variable is num okay num total tenth so here you can mention input tenth okay create and select save so don't forget to mention the description that is very important okay now i have a total length so as i told earlier what we have to do from the total length first i need to minus bc bc means minus 2 very simple minus 2 i will do so for that i will take a assign so which assign i have to take it here i am dealing with a length length means number right so we have to take a number assign so go to the number package and take the assign drag and drop and here you have to give num length minus 2 because i have a bc right that i have to minus it so bc i will minus it by using total length minus 2 and i will save this particular value in again in the total length itself i will not create again one more variable okay the same total length itself i am just replacing okay now what we have to do next so once the bc is example just i will copy this one and have it in a notepad so it will be very easy to okay so here what i have done so i have removed the bc now i have only the data of length like this from here i need to extract seven characters right one two three four five six seven so this character highlighted character i need to extract if you want to highlight this character first thing is where exactly it is starting okay example here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 after the ninth character it is started right we know already in the note part interviewer is told to us we need only the seven character always so what we can do total length okay from the total length minus 7 then our goal is goal of the get the total value of length of the particular left hand side part is completed okay so what i will do in the board so take the number assign action again okay number assign action again after that total length minus 7 this is also you can do otherwise directly you can take a substring activity substring so substring is a one it will give you the total length from the particular started position example you want to start the value of the new extracted value from second means two okay then you can use a substring to get this blue color highlighted value so we will see how we can extract okay the source string is str input again input and start from one means it will start from the H but I need to start from three right so what I have to do if you want to start from the three just observe carefully from the left hand side I will calculate one two three four five six right you want to start from three means you have to minus it six of your total length so whatever desired value you need it number of character means seven character you need it so minus one will be the answer of your total extracted character length so what i will do here instead of start from take here num length minus six because i need to start from three right so after three i have a six characters so I'm just deleting this six character and I will give the particular number of three. Okay, number of three for the start from. Okay, number of length minus six. Total length, how many you need it? Seven I need it. So that's why I will mention as seven. That's it. So now this particular value, we have to save it in output. That's why SDR output. Mention here description exercise 20 output 
hit and select. Now my business logic is completed. So next step is to show the output, right? Output you can mention and inside the output, you can take a message box, drag and drop inside the output as a str output. So now you can run the bot. The first thing whenever you will run the bot now, user has to give the input. So this type of this scenario, we will call it as runtime input because after the running of the bot, user is giving the value, right? Not a hard coded values. So this we will call it as runtime input. Okay. So please enter your input. So first I will take a first scenario, which is given in the interview. Okay. Just copy the input and paste it here. Then click OK. So now you will get an output from the bot. Just compare with our interview scenario output. So in, in the interview, they have told 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 should be the output. Here also you are getting 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I close it again, if I run, so we will take a second question example also because our bot is now dynamic, right? Nowhere I have made it as a hard coded. Now you can run how many times you need it and how many input you want to give it to your interviewer. Okay, just copy the second one. So this is ICIC bank. Okay, so just paste it and see the output. Compare with the output 0987654. Exactly it is matching what exactly the interviewer want. Right, so how this is working you have seen i hope you have understand the logic if you are not understanding the logic please watch the video again again if you are not understanding please contact me from any of the social media i have mentioned my links in the description whatsapp facebook or uh, your linkedin and uh, telegram so many community we have you can join to the community and you can get resolve your questions also you can directly contact me through whatsapp also definitely i will help you if you have any questions and if you have any questions like this interview questions please send it in a whatsapp or any social media definitely i will try to explain in the video so that will help to the community who willing to take the interview in the upcoming days thank you very much have a nice day happy learning